Hello, this is Neil Dilworth, one of the emergency physicians from Georgetown Hospital. And today we're just going to be doing an overview of the uh, B-Flex disposable glidoscope, uh, which will be an addition to our uh, glidoscope in the emergency department for advanced airway procedures. We're going to go over essentially the, the anatomy of the, the new bronchoscope. A couple things in terms of uh, components. Uh, so the first thing is the disposable part of the, the bronchoscope will be the handle and the uh, fiber optic um, camera. That all comes in a kind of a long vertical pack, uh, plastic packaging and those will be kept next to the, the glidoscopes. And then there is essentially a non-disposable connection cable uh, which will essentially be both the uh, fiber optic and power source connection for the disposable scope to our existing glidoscope screens. Uh, those quite easily connect the non-disposable cables to a uh, portal at the back of our glidoscope screen and then attach into uh, part A on uh, both the vertical and the horizontal diagrams of the disposable bronchoscope. Uh, when you see the video, the uh, connection part will have a blue tip and there will be a dot that matches up to a white dot on the um, labeled A uh, connection part of the disposal block. The next component of the box code to be familiar with is the suction cabling which attaches on to B and the button labeled C allows us to control suction while we are doing a uh, bronchoscopic procedure. D is for more advanced applications um, that would include essentially the introduction of um, instrumentation in through the bronchoscope. However, um, that's unlikely to be an application that we are going to be using in the emergency department. Uh, however, there is a lure attachment uh, that can attach onto uh, the part labeled D, which would allow us to connect a syringe with a, um, a lure tip um, to allow us to deliver medications such as for example racemic epinephrine through the bronchoscope. Part labeled E uh, is the actual uh, um, the, the camera part of the bronchoscope and um, as you can see the proximal part of that cable has a blue end uh, which attaches to the, the distal end of the handle of the scope. The uh, scope uh, part allows for a sliding over of an endotracheal tube, which you'll see shortly. It essentially accommodates most adult size endotracheal tubes that are essentially greater than six millimeters in diameter. Anything smaller um, will not be compatible with this disposable bronchoscope. The distal end of the scope uh, is essentially movable and that's controlled by component F. It essentially moves in a single plane and depending on how you rotate the handle that may be up, down or left, right. I'm going to uh, move on to this is a, the rep essentially demonstrating its use in a model. Thank you very much and enjoy the overview. So the friction fitting at the top okay. of the housing. This is for a disposable bronc. There we go. So the ET tube, of course, just advances up the cable. Yep. It comes to the friction fitting here, and then it's just friction fit. From there, you can just disconnect by pulling. So tube's connected. This is the uh, access to the tool channel. So if you're going to run an endoscopic tool, you can push it straight through. If you are going to run meds, they either have to be in a lure slip. Which syringe, is in the package. Or you have to put it in a lure lock with okay. a lure slip adapter, which is included in the package. And that just attaches on to that? Push it right through, yeah. Right. Just you can push it right through the valve. Right. Uh, underneath the index finger, of course, would be the suction trigger. Okay, and so you can attach the suction tubing And here. suction tubing connects here. And then this is the trigger that will direct the camera. Right. Perfect, okay, now let's talk about the procedure. Bronchoscopic procedure. Um, okay. So you want to have the instrument uh, straight. Yes. On plane, midline. Uh, and fully upright. And then I'm just going to observe the tip of the instrument. I'm just going to follow the base of the tongue with midline, base of the tongue with the instrument, 
And once I'm past the base of the tongue, I'm going to look at the, at the monitor. This is the view on the monitor right now. Mm -hmm. So there I can see my vocal cords. So now the, the key with this, in, with this uh, instrument is to advance with the lower hand. Don't try and stab the patient with your upper hand. You're going to direct here and only stabilize here and direct left to right, doing a little bit of twisting as you're driving. So again, I've gone past the base of the tongue. And I've sighted sort of the uh -huh. visual sphere. And now I'm going to make very small <laughs> advances with my lower hand. And this is where this dummy gets a little bit sticky, we've discovered. So top hand steady, advance with lower hand. And then again, I'm just sort of twisting a little bit with the upper hand. And there is the carina. Now you can advance the ET tube off the fishing fitting. And again, I'm not going to fully advance the ET tube because this guy doesn't have any glue in him. But if we, as we pull up the scope, you can see there's the vocal cords and there's our glue.